Okay, kids, I'm gonna throw two words out to you. Jacques Cousteau. Just Google him. The spelling's a little Frenchy and funky, but it'll still come up. He's the guy who introduced most of us with my hair color to pictures of the incredible world that lives under the sea. Now there's an innovator who wants us all to channel our inner Cousteau, and he wants us to do it with our phones. Here's Albert Lawrence to explain. Normally, to capture bright and beautiful underwater images like this, you need an expensive camera and lenses, and an airtight sealed casing to protect your gear from the moisture and pressure it's exposed to in deep water. And that's limited the number of people who use underwater cameras to mostly professionals until now. When we were going out about two years ago in the Bahamas, we realized that a lot of the divers were on the boats with their smartphones taking pictures of one another or pre-dive, but underwater they weren't using their smartphones. So that's when we decided to create a smartphone housing that would allow the customer to operate or to manipulate their touch screen underwater, because that's the biggest drawback. You cannot manipulate your touch screen underwater. I traveled to Montreal, Canada to meet cinematographer turned inventor, Anthony Lenzo, and learn more about his innovative underwater case that works easily with your smartphone's camera called, you guessed it, Linzo. Real simple, this one is machined from solid aluminum. It's depth rated to 100 meters. Thank you. Put the phone in there, it has a safety lock. So All it's right. not gonna fall out in excitement or something like that. It's so far, so safe. So it has a power, right. so you can wake up your camera, hit your home button, and there you go. I see you have your camera app in the corner here. Just tap your camera app, and that's it. It opens up your camera, and you just press and swipe. It's a mechanical thumb. We've incorporated our swing arms, which act like mechanical thumbs with capacitive touch sensors that actually will swipe across the screen, allowing you to manipulate your menu underwater or actually switch through your modes underwater. To take the photograph, swing all the way over to the right, press the center, there's a video mode right there, it's taking an image, and then if you want, you even have a selfie mode. There's our crew. Oh, whoa, there they are. See? Hey <laughs> and then you can take photos that way. You also have a trigger here. But you can shoot slow-mo, you can shoot time-lapse. You have all of these options available to you underwater. According to Anthony, you can access other apps on your phone, like a compass, so you know what direction you're heading, while at the same time color correcting your pics. As you know, water filters light. Just like the rainbow is, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, ultraviolet, right. water filters light the same way. So that's why things look bluer, because red is the first color that disappears underwater. Right. So what we've done is we've incorporated these color filters just to give the photographer the opportunity to add some of that lost color back into the image. The camera housings are machined on site and built by hand, and each shell is depth tested in their custom made pressure tank. He's down at 100 PSI right now. We're subjecting it to more pressure than most people will ever take it. If there's any water inside the casing when it comes out of the tank, it's rejected. When you're underwater, especially with your smartphone, there is no margin of error. Because if you're off just for a few thousand of an inch, you can have leaks. So we want to make sure that that doesn't happen. But the simple fact that you can now capture an image like this with that thing in your back pocket makes you an official underwater phone-tographer.